Hello, this is Deborah Carmona here doing another short video on a specific facet of making sock bunnies. I have today two, two forms that so far they have no gender and I'm going to assign them gender today. And the reason I say that is because I do the boy bunnies differently than I do the girl bunnies. For sculpting, I'm using hand quilting thread now with my female bunny she's gonna be wearing a tutu and that tutu is gonna you know come right here and I don't want her hands hidden I want her hands up high so I actually put a little extra stuffing right here and right here because her hands are gonna come down and meet in the middle and I'm gonna show you how to sculpt that and so I put a little extra right here on her and she also has a little tush here oh and another thing I started to do since this sock is a very um, very loose weave it's it's a, really nice to sculpt with I got it at uh, I don't know CVS maybe it doesn't have a, a thick rib at the very bottom so it really makes for a nice um, effect of doing the toes. I have a separate video showing you how to make these cute little adorable feet. So I'm going to show you how to sculpt her arms. So that's what today's video is about. We're going to turn these two blank forms into, oh yeah, yeah. I got to tell you about one thing. I'm going to put clothes on this guy. See, my, my bunny in a tutu, she looks so pretty in her tutu. Um, and she looks dressed and ready for Easter. Well, I want this bunny to be dressed for Easter as well. So I have a really awesome idea. You're going to love it. It's going to be so clever. Well, you'll have to see the next video. It's going to be awesome. And they'll be a wonderful pair together. All right. Now I want to show you how to sculpt the girl and her arms. And I'm going to change the needles. I'm not going to use my long needle now. Yeah, the smaller needle will probably be better. And I think this is considered an upholstery needle um, that's got a curve. Can you see the curve? I cannot see. My eyesight is really bad. I hope the camera picks it up. And I'm going to thread my needle the same way. I get a good length. And I'm going to put both ends through the eye of the needle. Her tutu is going to be right at her waist right here. And so we want her arms to be gathered right here at the front. And so I'm going to start right there in the middle. And this is where the curved needle is useful. And get my loop. And this is going to be the separation between her hands. I'm going to do that again. So I can pull it tight. I want to pull it so that it kind of separates and divides her two hands as they come together. And the re ouch, I just stabbed myself. The reason that I put her hands like this is because I want her hands to be seen um, because she's going to be wearing a tutu. So her hands have to be up top. So I don't want them down. All right, now, as I do the arm, I'm going to be slightly pinching it so that I know where I'm going. And I probably, well, you probably could do this with a straight needle. Um, but I think it's a little easier with the curve. I mean, the whole thing is really soft and very flexible. So if you, you know, want to do it with a straight needle, you probably could. So I have to keep backing my hand out as I pinch. And I think the hands should be slightly smaller than the arms. So I want the arms to get gradually just a little bit bigger. So I make my stitches a little bit wider apart. I decided to 
do several videos. So I have a whole series of sock bunny videos now. And each one covers a specific facet of bunny making because to do the whole bunny, the video is too long and it doesn't work to speed it up because not everybody can grasp what's happening. So I'm just going to do a small facet and if there's something that you need to know about sock bunny making, just go to my YouTube channel, just click on my name, it'll take you right to my channel and look for playlists. It should be right near the top on my page anyways, but but if you have trouble, go to the playlist and look for craft projects and that's where you'll find all of my sock bunny videos right there in one place, all organized and I put all of my sock bunny videos at the top of the playlist so you'll find them really easy and you just go to the one where you need the most help because there's different ones for putting on the eyes for doing the toes for sculpting the face and if there's another part that you think I need to explain or go over more just okay I'm, I'm working around the elbow now so my stitches are going to be kind of coming up and down in the same spot on the top but they'll be changing positions on the back so my stitches will be further apart on the back but they're not going anywhere on the top as I bend her elbow And after I get the little bunny, the boy bunny, with Easter bunny with his um, vest, and I'm going to switch gears and do something different. Like maybe some black bunnies. Or different cultures or races. Or, I don't know, I've got a lot of ideas. Or maybe I'll do other animals. Because I do have ideas. I lay in bed at night. Um, I think I, I, I come up with ideas in my sleep and I, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I need to try that. So I, I seem to have an endless supply of ideas. And you know what? These projects are so fun to do because they don't take very long. They're very cheap to make and Okay, I don't want to come any higher because that's the shoulder, but I do need to come up higher on the back. So I'm just going to make a few more stitches coming out in the same place on the front and just working up the back end of the shoulder a little bit because I don't think I need to go any higher here. Just want to make sure this comes all the way up so it kind of completes the arm. Going in the same place in the front, just a little bit higher in the back. But yeah, these projects, they take less than two hours to do one little bunny. These two, I'm kind of working on it together. So it's actually, I think maybe a little faster to do it two at a time. but I actually wanted to dress these two the same. I want to put her in a purple tutu, so I'm going to make him a purple vest so, so that they'll be a matching pair. Okay, I think we have her shoulder, so now all I need is to make a knot. So we'll take a stitch and we pull our needle through the loop. That makes our knot. Oops, I got a loose thread here. I think I want to come out on the other side. Well, I'm just going to actually make one more stitch. When I do the other arm, since I put a knot on this side, um, I had to start again. I'm going to start in the same place. So I went around the same place. It doesn't matter how many times you go around this little 
center because you you want that to be a good separation anyway so it doesn't matter and we'll just do the same thing going that way and I'm gonna have to turn her upside down so I can hold it since I am right-handed and we try to make this to match that basically it's the same process I just thought I'd zoom in a little bit a little bit closer so you can see how I'm doing it so hopefully you can see better Sometimes I don't know until I look at the footage whether or not it was a good view. If sometimes I find myself, oh dear, I was out of the camera and I didn't even notice. I think if I had a GoPro on my head, it would probably work good. <laughs> I maybe one of these days I'll get me one, one of those cameras. That way I can make sure that it's looking at what I'm looking at. Okay. I want the arm to bend as it comes around her. I try to pinch just ahead of where I'm going to stitch so that I know where I'm going. And you don't pinch too hard, see? You just pinch just enough so you can see. And you don't pull your stitches too tight because then that would make it get skinnier and the arm would have a small place. You want it to look consistent all the way through. I don't know if I said this already. These projects are fun and in inexpensive. I mean, this one, these two bunnies are made out of one pair of socks. The buttons, 88 cents. The socks came in a pack of six for about five dollars, which means you could make 12 bunnies for five dollars. Um, and well, the felt. I don't know what they cost, 50 cents or something like that. And and you can make several bunnies out of the felt. And it takes about two hours. Okay, I'm high enough on this side. I always like to judge, all right, maybe one more stitch. Then I gotta work on bringing up the back end Okay, we're just going to bring up this part, keep coming out in the same place in the front. So it's inexpensive, it doesn't take a long time, less than two hours, you can make a bunny. I suppose I'll get faster at it the more I do it. I think I get better at it the more I do it. Because I keep improving it, and um, and I'm learning by the process. Now we just need to make a knot, and then her arms are finished. So we make a little loop. I'm gonna stitch, run our needle through the loop. There's our knot, and I always like to make another stitch put our thread on the inside. Oops. Okay. Let's put on her tutu. So you can see why I like the arms that way. See this way her arms are on top. I just need to, I don't think I've trimmed this tutu yet. Yeah, so it's a little rough and big because I made a whole bunch of them. I made like a whole bunch of tutus in different colors. <laughs> so um, I'm ready to make a bunch of bunnies. See, that's why it's, it's good to have her arms up on top 
so that you can see her arms and her hands when she's wearing her tutu. Okay, do check out my other videos to help you on the parts where you need help the most. And you definitely want to check out how I do the vest for our, for our boy bunny. So there you have our two bunny forms. Our girl. You see how nice she stands up? And the boy with his hands in his pocket. And he has a really good shape. And yes, I think I, I stuffed him a lot more. And that's why he is bigger than she is. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, aren't they sweet? <laughs> so that way you can make boy bunnies for the boys and girl bunnies for the girls for to put in the Easter baskets. Wouldn't that be an awesome thing to have a homemade toy that you created that look adorable in the Easter basket? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.